Alright, uh, Tim Planet, Riverside, Barry Lloyd here. About to bring you the Diamond Choke. It's original, so uh, we start from this setup. I don't know if you ever shoot for the armbar. You end up with only one leg over the neck, and this leg under. It's perfect because the guy is distracted. From there, you're going to shoot your arm up, secure the chin. Right here is really tight, but in a tournament, a guy's not going to tap from this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to kick your leg out, hit the triangle to the best of your ability. You should be able to finish them right here. Again, you can see he's tapping. I'm not even squeezing really. But if you want to be really nasty, squeeze it as hard as you can, hit the S grip, get the tap. Uh, one other angle is from, say, you're on your back. You're working with Kimura, you have your Kimura grip. You got here. You know, you're distracting them, you know. You, Get the head over just like you're getting that Kimura. Instead, you want to try and plant the fist on the ground. Scoop the neck. Reach back. This one is not so much a choke. It kind of really hurts a lot. Triangle. Get the top. Oh, wait. That's just a few of the early setups. So the diamond choke. Uh, to plant a riverside. Are you going to throw the diamond up too or no? Uh, oh, yeah. Diamonds. Yes. Uh, uh, the diamond choke. All good.